Today I'm going to show you how to configure um, wireless access management and in control. Um, obviously one way you can configure wireless access management is to go to your router, go to AP and click on an SSID, configure the settings and click save. But I don't want to use the local router to do the Wi-Fi. I want to actually push those settings out through in control. I have my router added to in control. And if you would like to know how to do that, please uh, see the video on configuring a balance 20 X. And I have that set up there. I got two routers. I've got a, a mobile router and I've got my, my kind of office router. So the first thing I want to do is I want to tag, add tags to these so that I can configure the individual or group based Wi-Fi settings. So I'm gonna click edit. I'm gonna select on the balance 20 X here and I'm gonna go to tag and I'm gonna say office add. And you can see the office tag showed up there. And I'm gonna go to the MBX and go and type in, I'll type in mobile MBX and click add. So now I have two tags, um, one that's office for the balance 20X and one that is mobile MBX for the MBX. So I'm gonna go to my Wi-Fi settings, group wide Wi-Fi settings. I'm gonna enable Wi-Fi management and hit save changes. I'm going to add a new SSID. So I'm going to give the SSID a name. I'm going to tell it to enable this device on some devices on the office device. I'm going to enable, enable WPA and WPA2 personal. We do support WPA2 and WPA3, but I've seen for backwards compatibility, we're, we're, I'm still kind of using that one right now. I'm going to go ahead and give it a password. And then you can set up uh, VLAN tagging if you want to do multiple SSIDs with different VLANs, um, multicast filtering, IGPM, IGMP snooping, and you can set the radio selection. For this one, I'm going to do 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So I'm going to go ahead and save changes. And now if I go back to my balance 20X and go to the dashboard, you'll see that there's no Wi-Fi configured. And then that's because it's switching over to in control. And in a few seconds, that Wi-Fi will show up. There it is. And there's my Wi-Fi that's now being pushed via in control. So if I go back to my AP tab, you'll see that says wireless settings configured on in control. And you'll see a little gear next to the SSID. I can't make any changes to this SSID here. You'd have to go into in control to make changes to the SSID. And that is how you configure SSIDs in in control.